Toshiba Device and Storage Corporation. E-Learning. Basics of Opera Amps. This course is intended for beginners and explains the characteristics, basic operation, internal operation, and negative feedback of Opera Amps as well as the electrical characteristics specific to them. Chapter 3. Electrical Characteristics. Electrical Characteristics. This section describes the electrical characteristics specific to Opera Amps. When an op-amp is used as an amplifier, the common mode input voltage range indicates the input voltage range in which it operates properly. When an op-amp is used to amplify a tiny signal from a sensor or other device, what the sensor resolution is to a sensor is what the input offset voltage or the common mode input signal rejection ratio CMRR, is to an op-amp. The minimum resolution is determined by the amount of noise. This section describes the following. 1. Input offset voltage, BIO. 2. Common mode input voltage range, CMV in. Common Mode Input Signal Rejection Ratio CMRR. 3. Op-Amp Noise 4. Noise Gain and Signal Gain 1. Input Offset Voltage VIO. Figure shows the ideal op-amp without an offset voltage source VIO. When a common mode input voltage is applied to VIN plus and VIN minus simultaneously, the output VIO, voltage theoretically becomes VDD divided by 2. In reality, however, it has a small error from VDD divided by 2. The input offset voltage, VIO, is the voltage applied between VIN plus and VIN minus, required to reduce the VO error to zero. The definition of the input offset voltage is similar to that of the common mode input signal rejection ratio, CMRR, detailed in the next section. In real-world applications, the input offset voltage multiplied by the closed-loop gain, ACL, is added to the output voltage. Therefore, in the case of a sensor circuit, the maximum input offset voltage must be lower than its minimum sensitivity. Let's consider an op-amp with an input offset voltage of VIO. As shown in the test circuit for the input offset voltage shown in figure, this op-amp can be regarded as the ideal op-amp with an external VIO voltage source connected to VIN, minus. The VIN, plus, voltage becomes VDD divided by 2. From the concept of a virtual short, the VIN, minus, voltage also becomes VDD divided by 2. Therefore, the voltage at the intersection of R1 and R2 becomes VDD divided by 2 minus VIO. In the case of the ideal op-amp, I1 equals I2. This can be rewritten as follows to calculate VIO. Note that resistors have some tolerance. For actual measurement, the measured resistance values should be used. VIO is a differential voltage between VIN minus and VIN plus. Therefore, when an op-amp is used with the closed loop, the voltage obtained by multiplying this input offset voltage, VIO, by the closed loop gain is added to the ideal output voltage. Since the VIO voltage varies from device to device, it is necessary to consider the maximum offset voltage when creating a circuit design. If it exceeds a system's tolerance, it is necessary to modify the circuit configuration in such a manner as to reduce the effect of the input offset voltage or select an op-amp with the lower input offset voltage. The AC coupled circuit is the simplest form of circuit to reduce the effect of the input offset voltage. Figure shows an AC coupled inverting amplifier. When capacitor C1 is connected in this way, current due to the input offset voltage does not flow through R1. Therefore, the input offset voltage has a DC gain of 1 and thus has less effect on VO. 2. Common mode input voltage range, CMV in, and common mode input signal rejection ratio, CMRR. The common mode input signal rejection ratio CMRR, of a differential amplifier is a metric used to indicate its ability to reject two signals or noises, common mode noise, that have the same amplitude and phase at VIN, minus, and VIN, plus. It is expressed by the following equation. Figure shows a test circuit for the common mode input signal rejection ratio. The common mode input voltage range CMV in, is defined as the input voltage range in which the prescribed CMRR is satisfied under the prescribed conditions. The data sheets for Toshiba's Operamp specify the CMRR value under DC conditions. Where VIN1 and VIN2 are the maximum and minimum CMV in values, respectively, and VOUT1 and VOUT2 are the output, VO, voltages at VIN1 and VIN2, respectively. As can be seen from figure, the input offset voltage, VIO, discussed in the previous section is the CMRR value under a special condition, VIN equals VDD divided by 2. The differential input pair of a typical op-amp is composed of p-channel MOSFETs as shown in left figure. As the VIN plus and VIN minus voltages increase, the drain source voltage of QP3 in the current source decreases, causing the current flowing to the differential input pair in the current mirror to decrease slightly. 
right figure shows an example of ID VDS curves for a discrete p-channel MOSFET. Suppose, for example, that VDS equals minus 1.5 volts and ID equals 80 milliamps initially. As the drain current of the MOSFET decreases, its drain source voltage changes nonlinearly in the saturation region. Although the internal devices of an op-amp IC are placed and fabricated in such a manner as to make the MOSFETs uniform, they are not perfectly symmetrical at the micro level. In addition, semiconductor chips are mounted on a metal frame in a package and soldered onto a printed circuit board. Therefore, the mechanical stress applied to each element of an op-amp IC differs slightly. These factors cause a slight difference in threshold voltage among the p-channel MOSFETs of the differential input pair. Therefore, a decrease in drain current causes different nonlinear changes in their drain source voltage. As a result, the input offset voltage has a slope with respect to the input voltage, the in, in the common mode input voltage range as shown in figure. Therefore, the CMRR values are calculated at the maximum and minimum common mode input voltages. 3. Internal noise of an op-amp. Oper amps are used to amplify a tiny signal from a sensor or other device. Noise is added to this tiny signal and amplified by an op-amp. Therefore, noise contributes to a reduction in the sensitivity and accuracy of a sensor. The noise related to an op-amp is divided into external noise caused by electromagnetic interference and external parts and internal noise. This section focuses on the internal noise of an op-amp. Two types of internal noise are defined as equivalent input noise. Frequency dependent 1 divided by F noise, thermal noise generated by resistors and shot noise generated by free moving carriers in a semiconductor. Frequency independent white noise, flicker noise caused by crystal defects and burst noise. Left figure shows the noise frequency characteristics of the op-amp, and right figure shows an example of the measured equivalent input noise voltage. The figure compares Toshiba's TC75S51 general purpose op-amp and TC75S67 low noise op-amp. The general purpose op-amp has a white noise of roughly 30 nV per rout hertz and a corner frequency of 300 hertz whereas the low noise op-amp has a white noise of roughly 6 nV per rout hertz and a corner frequency of 100 hertz. Both 1 divided by F noise and white noise appear at the inputs of an op-amp and are defined as equivalent input noise voltage. The equivalent input noise is amplified by a gain and appears at the output. In particular, care is required as to low frequency noise because its voltage is dependent on frequency. To amplify a tiny signal, multiple amplifiers are sometimes connected in a cascade in order to prevent abnormal oscillation. Let's consider how each amplifier stage affects the noise that appears at the output of the cascade amplifier. Figure shows a three-stage cascade amplifier. As shown in figure, the output signal power, PS out 3, and the output noise power, PN out 3, can be calculated as follows. As you see, the input noise, PN in, and the equivalent input noise, PN1, of the first stage amplifier have the greatest impact on the output noise. The output signal power, PS out 3, and the output noise power, PN out 3, are expressed by the following equations. Therefore, the noise factor, F, a measure of noise, is calculated as follows. The equivalent input noise of the second stage amplifier, PN2, is divided by the first stage gain, G1. Whereas the equivalent input noise of the third stage amplifier, PN3, is divided by the first stage and second stage gains, G1 and G2. Therefore, the input noise of the successive stages of amplifiers has progressively less impact on the output PN out 3. As indicated by this example, a low noise amplifier should be used at the first stage to reduce the effect of its noise. 4. Noise gain and signal gain. The previous section described different types of noise generated by the op-amp. As discussed, the internal noise of an op-amp is defined as equivalent input noise voltage. Figure shows a simplified equivalent circuit. The op-amp represented by the triangle is the ideal one. Since figure expresses the equivalent input noise voltage, VNI, as a difference in voltage between VN plus and VN minus, it is not significant whether VNI is inserted in series with VN plus or VN minus. Next, let's consider non-inverting and inverting amplifiers using this model. Left figure shows an inverting amplifier, and right figure shows a non-inverting amplifier. Both the inverting and non-inverting amplifiers have an equivalent input noise source, VNI, inserted in series with the VN minus input of the ideal op-amp. These amplifiers have a signal gain of AV as discussed in Chapter 2. Using the principle of superposition, signal and noise sources can be considered separately. Let's calculate the gain for the noise source. In the figure, the gain of the noise source of the op-amp is obtained in the same way as the non-inverting amplifier circuit. The noise voltage VNO of VO is as follows. 
since the noise gain, AN, is equal to VNO divided by VNI. Here, the signal gain AV of inverting amplifier circuit is as follows. In this way, the gain of the noise generated in an op amp might be different from that of the signal gain. This gain is called the noise gain. This concept of noise gain can be used as follows. Converting the equivalent input noise into output noise. Calculating the effect of the input offset voltage on the output. Calculating the oscillation margin. As described above, the concept of noise gain is important for circuits using an op amp. Next, the following paragraphs briefly describe the oscillation margin. Except for oscillators, oscillation means an unwanted fluctuation of a signal at an unintended frequency. A source of oscillation such as unwanted noise circulates through a feedback loop, developing into oscillation, as described in Chapter 2. The source of oscillation is random noise. It is applied as a difference in voltage between the VIN plus and VIN minus inputs of an op amp. In other words, it is the equivalent input noise voltage, VNI, discussed above. It is important to determine the oscillation immunity based on the noise gain. As described above, the noise gain of typical inverting and non-inverting amplifiers can be calculated using the signal gain equation for non-inverting amplifiers. The concept of the noise gain can be used to provide a margin for oscillation, i.e., increase the noise gain. Figure shows an example of increasing the oscillation margin without changing the signal gain with an inverting amplifier. Let's consider VI and VNI separately using the principle of superposition. VNI is regarded as being short-circuited when considering VI, whereas VI is regarded as being short-circuited when considering VNI. From the concept of a virtual short, both the VN minus and VN plus inputs are regarded as being grounded. Therefore, since the voltage across R3 is equal to the ground potential at a signal gain of AV equals VO divided by VI, no current flows through R3. Hence, AV equals minus R2 divided by R1, which is identical to the equation for a basic inverting amplifier. Since VI is short-circuited at a noise gain of N equals VO divided by VNI, the resistance is as follow. Hence, the noise gain is as follows, which is higher than the noise gain for basic inverting amplifiers. This means that this circuit provides a larger oscillation margin than a basic inverting amplifier. However, since the concept of the noise gain is exactly the same as that of the input offset voltage, the oscillation margin increases at the expense of an increase in input offset voltage.